Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we're looking at the Sky Changer plugin. Now, as the name would suggest, this plugin allows you to change the color of the sky either for a player or an entire world. So, this would be very useful on uh, servers that have different worlds, such as a factions world, an RPG world, maybe a space world, just to change the atmosphere and make it more realistic. It could even be good if you have maybe a spooky world. So what we're going to do is show you how this plugin works and then look at the config file. So first of all, if you do forward slash sky changer, like so, you will see all of the commands. Now this plugin has one main feature, which is obviously to change the color of the sky, and a secondary feature which can freeze a player or an entire world for whatever reason. So if we do sky changer and then a number, this will send that number of packets to a player and change how the world actually looks. So zero is default, you are all very familiar with this, this is how it looks normally. If we set it to one, you will see that there is quite a big change, it goes sort of a greyish blue colour. Now if we go to two, there will be a very big change. It goes bright orange and bright blue, and that looks really awesome. If we carry on, it will go to a red and a black, which looks very spooky. If we go up a bit more, it will get darker, but stay the same as red and black. So if you had a Halloween world or um, something like that, so this would be very awesome. It's very spooky, you can't see too much. Hope there's no creepers about. And if we carry on, it will keep changing. If we jump to 10, it will go a bit orangey. And then if we carry on all the way up to 50, you will see that it goes completely black, then completely blue, and looks pretty amazing, really. This is why I love this plugin. So I should say at this point, it's very, very important that you don't go above about 50 or below minus 50. The reason for this is you will get absolutely horrendous lag spikes. So I'm going to give you a slight test of how that works. So if we go to 100, uh, you'll probably see the FPS dropping a bit. If we go to 150, um, the FPS drops a lot. So let's go back to a reasonable value, 50. Um, so be very careful with that. Now I have some night vision here as well, which if used in conjunction with the plugin, um, gives you some very awesome effects. Let's go ahead and splash myself with that, and wow, <laughs> look at that, that looks absolutely phenomenal. The bright red sky with the blue sand and everything, it just looks amazing. So let's go ahead and go back down the values and see how it changes, so sort of a yellow sky now with the blue sand. And then we have a white sky, this looks really cool, go to 10. Let's go to 4 and back down to 1. So that is all of the positive values. Now if we were to set it to night and set the packet to minus 1, uh, this does a small change but it makes the stars more visible. So if I were to get rid of the night vision you can see there are the stars. If I set it to 0 they get a lot dimmer. Uh, it's not much of a change but obviously you can do that if you want. So that is how the color changing works for a particular player. If we were to do sky changer a number, uh, let's choose five, I like five, we can either do a particular player, so my name, LT Jim. We can do hyphen A, which is all of the players, or hyphen W and then a world name. So hyphen W world, we'll change it to all the players in a particular world. And if we do hyphen A, that will go to everyone regardless of what world they're in. So that's very cool that you can do that. And the other feature which I mentioned is the freezing feature. So if we were to choose maybe everyone in the world, um, it will freeze like that. So they won't be able to move, they can look about, but they are frozen completely. So you could use this um, if you wanted to edit a particular world or something. Um, but let's go ahead and unfreeze myself like that, unfreeze hyphen A, that will unfreeze everyone. Now what you'll need to do is, as the text says, F3 and A at the same time to reload the chunks and we will be back to normal. Um, so let's go ahead and splash ourselves with this and this is how it looks. So that is everything in game, obviously you can reload the configuration file if you really want to, we are going to have a quick look in there. Um, so let's go there now. So here we are in the sky changer folder and if we go into the single config.yml you will see that there isn't too much in here. So we have the upper limit and the lower limit which I mentioned if you go above these values you will experience quite a lot of lag. So it's probably best to leave these how they are. 
And then down at the bottom we have our language. So there is a nice variety of languages to choose from. Um, and obviously you can just pick one out. Let's go for Argentinian Spanish and just swap it out. And there we go, that's how you change the language. So that is how that works. It's a really cool plugin. There is so much potential to use it in various different servers. Um, but that is it from me for this week. If you want to download the plugin, links down below. If you want a server to host it on, go to serveminer.com. They have the best and the cheapest server deals that I've ever seen, which is brilliant. Um, and if you want to check me out, that will be in the description as well. So subscribe, like, comment, and I'm going to see you next week.